Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 1st, 2023, and let's talk about that real quick, but <laughs> before we get into all that and draw some cards, get angelic messaging going here, I do want to give you a heads up about May 5th. It's a 5-5 day. When we have stuff like that going on, everything you thought was in place, especially during a retrograde, not going to be in place, okay? <laughs> There's going to be turnarounds, you know, turnovers, or you might have a moment like I just had. I just said this to somebody else about a move that I want to make, and they asked me, you know, where did that come from all of a sudden? And I said, I don't know. It's like Forrest Gump running, and then he just stops and says, I want to go home now. That's exactly <laughs> what this day might bring and the timing around it. Now, if you've been following my community tab on YouTube, then you already know if you're not following that, I post there usually a couple of times a day giving updates about things, letting you know about live events, all that good stuff. But um, because a lot of people are signing up for live readings these days, everything I'm talking about here you can find in the description box, okay? Um, you know, that leaves more time for the standard readings. So I have said, and God, I should not be saying this in a video. <laughs> I should not be saying this in a video. If you get in fast, as of the recording of this, right now I'm recording on April 29th, I might be able to get your personal reading to you by May 5th. That is not a guarantee. I said before, and I'll say it again, it's just like going to the store. All right, if you show up when everybody else does, you're going to wait in line, okay? But if you get in early, you can get your reading a little bit faster, all right? So that's angelsouls444.com. Of course, I have courses over at gumroad.com. Check all of that out. My cards are all messed up. I whipped out the uh, Michael deck for this week. So we're going to do an overview here. Sorry, i got to straighten these out. We're going to do an overview I'm a little too comfortable with my audience, I think. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I probably should be a little more professional. But, um, yeah, so what was I saying? So I'm going to be doing an overall video here, message, and then we'll break it down into three groups. People have been asking, but how do you know what groups to... The timestamps are in the description box, and usually there's always at least a couple of viewers who put them in the comments as well. So make sure you always love up those comments. And, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to have to edit some of that out because that was a lot. But anyway, <laughs> in addition to that, always check out the community tab because I've been doing this new thing where we just send love. And I think it's powerful. It's a powerful, powerful thing to do. Just leave your heart comment. You can do it here. You can do it on, you know, any video on the community tab or do that for any of your favorite creators. Okay, so there's enough of that. Let's get into the messaging here. So, let me tune in. Obviously, Michael is a presence here this week. Uh, not because you would necessarily need protection, but maybe you want clarity, courage, that sort of thing. All right. Hmm. I just heard sweet surprises. This isn't something to necessarily be afraid of unless you really hate change. Then, you know, that, that might be a little rough for you. But I am hearing Michael say this will be a sweet change. So maybe something finally breaks that you've been hanging on to for a while. I'm sorry, this just, we got problems. Okay, anyway, the first card out. Spend more time outdoors. Thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature. This is an important card because what this is telling us, number one, if you can't, this always reminds me of stop and smell the roses. If you are too wound up in the details, in the day-to-day, -day, how you look, how you're perceived, who's ever going to love you, how much money am I going to make, you know, those don't have to be bad things, but they can drain us of our energy. Now, being outdoors is also very relaxing, or it can be, unless, again, you're somebody who doesn't like bugs or something like that. <laughs> Maybe it stresses you out, but it can be very detoxifying. So make sure you're giving yourself some time to do that messaging. All right, so I'm hearing that, that this needs to occur. 
and they're bringing that out as a visual for the audience who sees this video because this is the holdup for a lot of people. This is how people are misinterpreting messages that are coming through their angelic team because they are too cluttered, too cluttered in their energy field and in their chakra system. So things aren't coming through. Okay. Believe and trust before going to sleep tonight. Say Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. See, this is why that message was coming up and why Michael is here. Be working on your solar plexus especially. I would even say solar plexus, sacral chakra, that sort of thing. Because this has something to do with density consciousness. Something around our 3D world. Third dimensional world. I'm hearing upended. So something, just a lot of, it could be catastrophic out in the world. Not necessarily for you as an individual. Okay. So that's why we need to be grounded. I forgot to say that uh, obviously being outdoors is very grounding. Okay. You can work with aerial when you're outside or sandal fin. That will help out a lot here too. But as these changes erupt, and that is the word that they're using, erupt, uh, be doing this dream programming. Be doing that so that you don't get wound up in the story, in the fear. You know, be aware, but you don't need to go swimming in that fear, okay? All right. So then we have shield yourself. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about it. Uh, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. And then you name your loved ones. I immediately felt... What is it, EMP? Okay, now I don't know if you guys noticed, but this past week, my internet was being really weird. Um, I was actually on a Zoom live and couldn't shut it down. Found out later, I can't say too much, but I found out later that some stuff was going on in my area. And they're getting prepared to have no power. So there might be something like that going on. More than anything, this is so far telling us, do not get attached to the way things are currently done. Do not get attached to the way things are because it's going to be taken away or changed. We might have to learn how to lean on one another, right? To accept support. We might get pulled away from the things that we believed in so much and now you're reevaluating. So this could also feel like a lot of shocking things coming out about people you look up to. This could be someone's parent. Okay, someone out there, your parent, you're going to find out what kind of past they had. And it's going to be shocking. It's going to be very shocking. So this could be about celebrities, politicians, that sort of thing. All right, so then we have self-respect. I want to say... This message is coming through, and that is we're not going to get pushed around. You are not allowing yourself to get pushed around. So there's, we'll get into the overall story here, but self-respect, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I am surrounded by loving and kind people. Now, praying to the angels, there's controversy around that. I don't really think you should be praying to the angels, but sometimes people do. You do what you feel is right. This whole overall message thus far feels like revolution. It feels like we're getting geared up. We're meditating seeing through the brainwashing, we're evaluating what is truly meaningful to us. And then 
Like, I don't think there's any sort of like, uh, I don't know. I want to be careful on how I say this. I don't feel like there's any outward fighting about that. But the collective energy of people suddenly realizing what really has been going on, okay? That collective energy is what starts a meltdown of sorts. And we could be seeing that manifest like collapsing of corporations. Again, things being revealed about people who are in power. And it could be really upsetting. And I feel like there's a bit of guilt that comes up around this. It's interesting. Because once we do finally see things turning around, if anybody screams and cries victim, it could be like... Okay, you know, I feel a little bad that this is happening. So we need to shield ourselves. All right. I am also hearing from Michael shielding ourselves from a pointed attack. And that self-respect has its obvious meaning, but there's something else here about having enough respect for ourselves to know when to not go back into a bad situation. So there's a couple of things going on. For some of you, this might be another person and you feel like they're attacking you. Um, wake up calls. Wake up calls all over the place. Are you going to be fine? Absolutely. Absolutely. But can it, it could be a little uncomfortable. It's like a boulder in the road. It's like a boulder in the road. Like you have to stop what you're doing and reevaluate. I just heard, don't get wound up in the fury. Don't get wound up in the fury. All right, red, free yourself from pain. The number is two. Two has to do with Archangel Sandifin as well, being very, very uh, balanced. Yeah, it kind of goes with all of these, but I'll just hold this one up again. This shield yourself. That's what's happening. You're finally waking up to things in process in your personal life, you might have a sudden revelation like I did. Like, like I said, Forrest Gump running and just saying, I'm ready to go home. <laughs> right? So you might just suddenly uh, go, why am I in this job? Why, you know, I have so much self-respect. Why do I allow myself to be commission only? Or, you know, maybe I don't get paid what I deserve. Um, that sort of thing. I'm sitting with this for good reason. And when you hear me pause, I'm listening for the messages. This could be a threat to our livelihoods in a general sense, like in the collective sense. And I think what this is getting at is more threats of, oh, if you don't do it this way, it's going to cost you. Or if you don't follow our rules, you can't get a house. You're going to be hearing things about various finance financial institutions and also maybe about the housing market real estate and it's all it's all the intimidation stuff that's what it is we're waking up to it now we're releasing it we're saying no more and we're leaning on one another now this is a process this isn't just going to be happening this week but we're not so easily intimidated anymore okay so we're going to leave it there for the general and let's get on to group one.
hello group one let's see what's going on for you if you did not watch the general please make sure that you watch that first you can pick as many groups as you want but that is the base of your message also check out angel souls 444.com for personal readings for gumroad for courses all that information is in the description box my cards are all messed up i don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, if you are not yet doing this, make sure you're always looking at my community tab on my YouTube channel. That's where I put a lot of updates. I post a couple of times a day usually. So keep an eye out for that. Let me turn to your energies. Let's see what's going on there. I'm immediately with the group that's tuning in here. I'm feeling this trepidation with a smile on your face. Yeah, I'm going to pretend like everything's all right because you're trying to convince yourself that everything's all right, but really you feel like something big is coming, which hello, that's been, <laughs> that's been for a while, but you feel a big change coming. This is the week of change. So let's see what we've got here for you. A favorable outcome. Okay, so I think this is saying don't worry. All right, let me read it to you. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. But look at that. We have scales on here, which is indicating making sure we remain balanced. This also has to do with if you want a favorable outcome, you can't get nitpicky, right? If you're somebody who's constantly watching the actions of someone else, me just adjusting this dress if that annoyed you ugh, you're not gonna have room for stuff like this because your, your focus is going into odd directions but you have to ask yourself why do I even care right it's stuff like that or you're very if you're judgmental or anything like that or more I think for this group it's like a fear of being judged don't hold yourself up from a nice outcome because you're afraid of what other people are gonna think all right Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So everybody who tuned into group one here, whether you're stacking this with other groups or letting it be on its own, you've had to be handling something. I mean, it is a situation, okay? And maybe this has been going on for a while, and now it's finally changing for the better for a lot of you. Obviously, this is still a general reading, so get a personal reading if you want more specifics. Okay, okay. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with, describe your situation. Please, please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. That is imperative. Trying to remain peaceful as you wait for things to turn around. <laughs> now, I'm laughing because it's like, I don't think you really understand what's coming. It's like, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Oh, wait, where'd the struggle go? Now, now it's done? Well, now what do I do with my life? It's sort of like that, right? Like you kind of expect it to never end, perhaps. All right. Honor and trust your feelings. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. There's a victory here. There is a victory here, and part of that is without having to have your sword up, so to speak. Now you have some peace, grace, a new perspective, and now you are able to tap into how you really feel. You know, when we're always in survival mode, we're not that in tune or insightful, are we? Because <laughs> all the, the focus is and the attention is out here to handle whatever's coming at us next. This is showing that things are changing so you can get back to you, essentially. Make a commitment, and I would say to yourself, all right? Archangel Michael is the angel of courage and confidence. I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my life, and my divine... Wait, to... Wait, what? Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can carefully open my heart to every experience so wild decisions coming from you why you learn the truth of something that's what michael's all about as well you understand something very deep about you you might look up and say 
gosh, you know, I went into this career because my family wanted me to do it. And I couldn't disappoint them. I couldn't let them down, right? So this might be a time where you start figuring out what to do next. What might be the right next thing for you? Okay. Oh, there's the card sticking right out. Lemon, access innovative thinking. The number is 23 reduces to five. Watch May 5th for all of you, all right? Because you're getting another message around that. But look, it's yellow. Solar plexus, have courage, have faith, okay? Things are needing to change in the way that they are. So don't fight it, don't fight it. And this is going to test you now that it's sort of like, now that you're free, what are you gonna do with your life? Now that you're not held back anymore, mostly by a way of thinking and sort of a contrived, um, I wanna say system. And for every person that's going to be different, is it a family system? Is it your community? You know, how you define yourself? All these labels that maybe you put upon yourself or others put upon yourself, that's going away now. And you're reinventing, <laughs> you're reinventing. And that's why you need to access innovative thinking without the obstacles. Who would you like to be? How would you like to be? What do you want to feel like? That's what this week is for you, all right? So we're gonna leave it there for you all. And we're gonna move on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. If you didn't listen to the first part of this video, make sure you go back and listen to that because that is the base of your message. In addition, if you want a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. You can check out the description box for courses. And always make sure you're checking out the community tab on my YouTube channel. I post lots of different updates there. So be sure to keep an eye on that. Let's see what you have going on. Landing. You feel like you've been up in the air for a very, very, very long time, and now you finally get to land. Now, we are uh, looking at tourist season here, so that makes sense. And this is popping out right now, too. So we have innocence. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. When I say landing you feel like you're finally getting to settle down maybe or you're finally getting to put something to rest it's resolved there's a lightness that comes back for you this innocence is restored so if for example you've been really worried about money which a lot of people have been why because there's all this fearful stuff being put out there and I'm always telling people you know be aware just don't you know, I don't bury your head in the sand, but, you know, you don't have to live in that space. So, I, I want to say it's a new beginning. I mean, yeah, obviously, if there's change, there's going to be something that has to start anew. But, don't think that you have to constantly keep working. Because some of you, I think, you'd be like, okay, that got resolved. Now I can go over here and start on all these other things. Don't do that. I think it's time to sort of collect yourself. It's almost like a restful type thing. Group one got this, right? Yeah, I think they did. A favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So this is all about balancing. You're getting what you deserve. And yes, the very thing that you've been working towards could have a very favorable outcome. But here's the thing. A lot of us, and when I say a lot of us, I mean me too, right? But like a lot of us will be working towards something, working towards something. And we are just so sure that we know what we're supposed to be doing. But the universe wants something else for you. So if something that you've been working towards comes to an end, you might go, this didn't pertain to me at all. This was wrong. No, it wasn't. You were going after something that wasn't for you. 
and the favorable outcome is that you just got saved. And now you're going to be led down a different path. All right. I'm telling you, this is, I, it's going to be a surprise. I wouldn't say like an earth shattering kind of shock, but just sort of like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. Okay. All right. And you'll find that it is a lot better than what you were, what you were going for. See, something, something might be getting taken away from you. This week, Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation. Yeah, you are being told to let go of something <laughs> that maybe you don't want to let go of. But if you do, if you work with the universe, you'll have a positive outcome. All right, let's see what else you got. Goodness. <laughs> Lean on God and the angels for support. Something's being taken away from you. Okay? Dear God and angels, I give you this situation. Describe this situation. Now and completely, I step out of the way. That's important. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. This, If this is a conflict with people that has just really turned you into a monster, right? Like a defensive fighting person. And now it's finding resolution. Maybe you're agreeing to disagree. It restores, we're saying innocence, but it restores your energy. You're able to be at peace again. And you're going to need some support to get through this. So this might be recovering from the effects of a relationship. Let's get the color card here. It feels like you're moving away, but you're making the choice to do it. And it feels like relationships. Now, not everybody's going to get a divorce this week, but, <laughs> but it could be like realizing you're in a toxic work environment. And you're saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to um, go off and do my own thing. Or... Yeah, I'm hearing fed up, but not like an angry, I got to make people pay kind of way. It's just sort of, I'm done. I'm just done. And I'm not doing that anymore. And you find that it makes you a lot happier. Burgundy, awaken your passion. The number is 10. Now you have time for you. You have time for the things that you want to do. In a sense to me, if I can pick up the card here. <laughs> in a sense to me is getting back to who you authentically are. Getting back to that version of you before life started setting in, right? And so if, for example, let's say you were in a relationship, okay? And takes up a lot of your time and there's a lot of expectations from the love partner. And maybe that's not the case anymore. And you're like, you know what? I can go take that art class or I could go take that dance class that my partner made me feel guilty for wanting to take because it was going to take time away from them. Or I wouldn't be home to do the dishes when they are clearly, clearly capable of doing the dishes, right? You know, that sort of thing. There's a restoration, not only of you, but of some of your old dreams. If they can still apply, you can explore them again. But it's only after you let go of something else. Okay, now again, if you're like, <laughs> friends, you know, you've been taking up way too much of my time. You can't be my friend no more because you won't do what I say. And that's not, obviously, that's not what we're talking about here, okay? <laughs> but like, don't go breaking up with friends and love partners and everything. But evaluate it for you. You're making a big decision this week, okay? We're going to leave it there for you and move on to group three. Hello, group three. If you did not watch the original message at the beginning of the video, make sure you go back and watch that. This is a part of that. Also, check out the description box for courses, personal readings, angel souls, 444.com. And if you are not watching the community tab on YouTube, on my channel, make sure you're watching that because that's where I put all the updates. Okay. Let's tune in for you. Mm. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of a bittersweet feeling here. 
Like for the other groups, it was kind of like, finally a situation is done or, hey, this is not in my best interest. I'm going to end this. For you, it's like, I don't want this to end, but this is the way it's going. And I have to respect that. Like It has this feeling of like high school sweethearts who go off to separate colleges, you know, like <laughs> it's that. Like it's really for everyone's best interest, right? Okay. Okay. Your children are watched over by angels. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please put that prayer out all the time, especially if you're in the United States. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. Remember, whether you have kids or, you know, don't have kids, but especially if you don't have kids, you're still a parent in that you are an adult and kids are watching what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so be a good example. But, uh, you know, this, uh, this kind of can talk about inner child. And there was all kinds of messages going through my head. They all wanted to come out all at once. I heard changes. This could be immense healing from childhood. Um, I'm pulling my hair over because this side decided to be frizzy and it's annoying. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's something about... There's, there's a lot coming through. Some of you have children... And you're trying to heal around something having to do with your children. There's the obvious example, and I'm sorry to you if that is the case, God forbid. There are other cases where maybe some of you feel like you're bad parents. And you're working through that. But then there are people who, again, it's referring to your inner child. And are you being a good parent to your inner child? Are you respecting yourself? Yeah, and I just heard getting involved outwardly. So some of you might be, you know, going towards certain laws. Got to be careful here, right? But, you know, going towards things that can help protect children in one way or another. All right, energy healing work. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me, thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. See, this is now especially feeling like inner child healing, healing trauma. Okay. Now, energy healing work is great. I always say make sure you have a therapist as well. But the big breakthrough, and it is that for you, a big breakthrough moment this week is finally accepting help. Maybe you feel like if you've already been getting help, you feel like you're having that breakthrough. <sighs> There's so much coming through about this. Do it for your inner child. If for nothing else, do it for your inner child. Okay? New beginnings and a fresh start. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. What was I just saying? Okay? Okay. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes, you guys. You're coming to a point that either you're having a breakthrough from some bit of trauma or, like I said, you're accepting help. You're finally getting to a place of allowing yourself to work on this. And if you're watching this group and you're like, that's not, it's you. Stop that. Stop being in denial or thinking, I've already done all the healing I need to do. Nobody who is still in human skin has done all the healing they need to do, okay? <laughs> it's an ongoing process, cool? But look at that new beginning and a fresh start. This is a, a new chance for you. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so you're gonna get some downloads. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this Situation, describe your situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. All right. You guys have a massive week coming up. This is, it's amazing. And it is beautiful. 
all right? Make sure you have proper support as you go through this. And please know, if you do this invocation before you go to sleep, you're going to be getting quite a bit of messaging through about how to heal, how to have that fresh start. And if you avoid it or you just don't think you're worth the time and attention, you're going to keep on in the old way. Okay. Ruby, regenerate your body. The number is eight. In order to open up abundance and prosperity in your life and to feel safe within your own skin, you need to pay attention to you know, whatever your past is, what has that done to your body? Stress can do a lot, all right? A trauma response can have a big physical effect upon you. Check with the doctor, work through it. You are deserving of that level of help. Allow yourself to have it, all right? I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.